The Animal Crossing and Build-A-Bear crossover was nothing but disappointment. It's Morningstar News. So a couple of days back, um, Build-A-Bear and Animal Crossing did a little, I guess you call it a crossover. <laughs> um, but uh, basically, um, they didn't really reveal what was go- what it was going to be before it actually happened. Um, but basically, uh, there was supposed to be Build-A-Bears for Animal Crossing characters. Um, but what they ended up giving us was a bit of a disappointment. Um, basically, um, you got Tom Nook here and um, Isabella, and uh, there's no customization options. There's just the two stuffed animals, and that's the extent of it. Which, you know, first of all, we knew these characters were going to be part of it. I mean, obviously, they're the most, um, I guess, iconic, you would say. Um, but we want to see the other villagers and stuff like that. But on top of that, it's Build-A-Bear. Like, it's all about the customization. Um, so, yeah, it was just a big letdown um, all around. They're just basically here saying... Um, have the two most popular characters have stuffed animals and that's the promotion. Um, so yeah, no customization, no nothing like that. Um, just overall disappointment. So they have announced that they're going to be uh, doing more characters. Um, but yeah, again, no details on who these characters might be or if we're going to have any customization options. We're guessing not. Um, so we are still kind of looking forward to um, what they come out with because there are a couple of characters that we really like in the game and we'd be thrilled to have them um, even if there isn't any customization options. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just, yeah, overall disappointment around the first two releases. Um, mildly excited about what they could do for the future, but uh, not getting our hopes up. Uh, but that's all we got for you today and uh, take care.